Happy Sunday. How you doing? How was your Saturday night? Hope you had fun. Hope you stayed safe. We did. Uh, I'll get to this in a second. Uh, I just heard, yeah, I heard a few things on there. One I thought was funny. Job is bragging about how someone gave him a dollar. <laughs> someone gave him a dollar. Uh, I forget what that's called. When someone makes a donation in a live stream. Money chat, something like that. Anyway, uh, in fact, he said, hey, Brian, he was so proud of it that he, uh, he actually left the live up and he had to put in the title how somebody gave him money. He's like a little fucking kid, man. It's going to show off, you know, fucking dollar. <laughs> He's making a big issue. Somebody gave you a dollar. Hey, all he needs like is maybe another 190,000 of those, you know, get his ass out of debt, you know. <laughs> By the way, any more mention about those investors? You know? Any of those people on Shark Tank, you know, are they in a bidding war fighting over that dump of a piece of property? I already said he sold the old too. Well, some guy said he was going to buy it. You know, I don't think Jabba realizes what the internet world is about. Uh, you know, a lot of people say things. They're going to buy this. They're going to buy that. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. And they don't fucking do it. He himself doesn't do what he says he's going to do. So some guy's saying, oh, yeah, I'll buy it. Chances are he ain't going to buy it, you know. But, hey, Jabba will find out for himself. Uh, what else was it? Oh, he's, out he's, he's on a shopping spree again. For a guy that's supposed to be packing it in, you know, a move by the end of the month, he doesn't seem to be, uh, you know, getting started with anything. Uh didn't he complain at one time about how he can't be putting more things in the house because he already has a lot of stuff to pack up? Doesn't know, you know where he's going to be moving to, if he'll have enough room to even put those things. Say, he went to a flea market or something, and he's looking at little kids' toys. Something to do, like building blocks or inking logs or some shit like that. He was buying kids' toys. You know, he likes collecting them. He doesn't have any kids, no grandkids. But he likes that because, you know, it reminds him when he was a kid. He still is a kid. You know, he has a mentality, the intelligence, behavior of a four-year-old brat that likes to go to school and impress all the other kids by telling them every story he can pull out of his fucking ass. You know, oh yeah. I got, I got more baseball cards. I got more cards than you. Oh, man. He didn't grow up. He just grew fat and stupid. Anyway, yeah, oh, unbelievable, this guy. Anyway, now on to this. Some of you may recall, this thing's been sitting here almost a year. And I really am embarrassed to say that I forgot all about it. Uh, some of you might remember last year. I, too, was in a reminiscing mood of uh, things I did when I was a kid that was fun. You know, everything from making models to HO scale, AFX, Aurora, Tyco, SWAT cars, and Cox gas plane. I had a gas plane. I had the Cox gas dune buggy with those big, soft pneumatic tires. It was metal flake orange. They had a purple one, too. They had a dragster, they had a VW bug, if I recall. All the shit that, you know, kids said, hey, man, don't have a clue. They'd rather sit in front of a TV and play a fucking Xbox or video game or some shit like that. But I said, I, was, I had an itch. So I ordered a couple of models, remember? The Z28 that I fucked up the windshield on. <laughs> and the whole, whole, whole Mary GTO that I... Did in Christmas colors, green, white, and red, you know, and I had fun with it, and they were all done by Christmas, and sitting on a table over there, as a matter of fact, they're sitting right there, uh, and Will sent me this, and at that time already, we're coming up on Christmas, I'm getting blurry here, what's going on, coming up on Christmas, and I was all psyched, you know, my Artemis, my Artie, 
his first Christmas, my grandson. I'm actually looking forward to this Christmas already. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to Halloween. Last year, Adi's first Halloween, my daughter dressed him up in a little clown costume. It was so cute. Now I got Benji. I want to see what my other daughter, what she does with him for Halloween. You know, now it's the time of the year when the holidays come. You know, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. I really look forward to it, you know. It's just the times, the people you're with, the things you're doing. I don't know job as long as the water you... What does that fat fuck do for the holidays? Is he on YouTube here? All, fuck, all through Christmas? All through Thanksgiving? <laughs> I'm going to assume he does. You know, this is a guy that tells people to get a fucking wife. Come on, man. Like I said, he's a fucking hypocrite. He contradicts himself. He is everything that other people are not, but he accuses other people of being that way. He's the only one that's that way. Anyway, uh, I told Will, well, after, you know, New Year's, after the holidays, I'll get to this. And unfortunately, I put it away in a closet on the shelf, be out of the way. And I forgot about it. Went in the closet. It's like a spare room that, you know, bedroom. Put things in there so I don't have to keep going down in the basement for things. Things that we don't want to get a little musty. You know what I mean? Basement, yeah, it can be damp. And so uh, I forgot about it. And a few months back, came across it. Said, oh, fuck, man. But I had already pretty much, you know, run out of glue and to test this paints. So uh, I said, I'll order some more. Forgot about it again. So now came across it again <laughs> so my goal <clears throat> my goal is to I'll get the paints and a glue we don't have any hobby shops around here like we used to at one time you know models you know even Walmart doesn't even have models anymore at least there's two here Dartmouth and Fairhaven you know the stores at the mall no hobby shops nothing like that I could probably get paints and glue you know uh at Home Depot, Willis. Anyway, my goal is to get the paints and the glue. And by this Christmas, I got to plan ahead. You know, they say proper planning and preparation gives you the best chance of any success with anything that you're doing. So my goal and my plan is to get what I need. And by this Christmas, uh, this will be done. And we'll be sitting with the other two over there. I got a lot of antiques too. See that rocking chair? That's from 1946. I got that at an auction. Built by a furniture making company in New York. 1946. It's still stamped on the wooden base of the seat. The original covering. The original pad. The original wood. Never refinished. Yeah, job. I got antiques too. You know? Yeah, I know. This is my uh, mother's basement here where I live in. You know, job, I mean... <laughs> you know how many people talk shit about me on here? You hear me laughing? <laughs> That's how much I give a fuck. You lose your fucking mind. You lose your fucking mind. Anyway. Okay, listen. Got some things to do today. Sunday football day. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to watch our Patriots or not. I think I'm going to drop in on my daughter, son of law. And yeah, my Benji, my son of all likes football too. Both of them do. So, uh, see what goes on. But I definitely will not be on YouTube here all day like Java. <laughs> Hopefully you are not either. Have a great day, everyone. Have fun and stay safe.